Atkinson, Atkinson, it is Miliatina, Atkinson! Here is Shelly Ann Fraser Price to win it. Five metres clear, and away he goes. He continues on his way towards another gold medal. Watch the clock this time. 19.2, you've got to be kidding me. It's Whitmore, he's through and he's scored. Before all this could happen, he had to do this. And this. The Sports Development Foundation of Jamaica has spent the last two decades revolutionizing the sporting industry. It was established as an independent body to contribute to the development of the nation through sport. Sports development is an important part of all societies as it fosters national identity and exposure. Trailblazers such as Herb McKinley, George Bunny Grant, George Roden, Courtney Walsh, and in recent times, Usain Bolt, Shelley and Fraser Price, and Aaliyah Atkinson ensure Jamaica remains in the spotlight. With so much talent among our Jamaican sportsmen and women, developing the sector can only result in massive financial growth for these athletes and the nation. It is for this reason that the Sports Development Foundation, SDF, will continue its drive to build and rehabilitate sports facilities, form policies and programs that will allow for the development of athletes, ensure the continuity of sports programs at the community level, and assist sporting associations to fulfill their mandates by providing financial and administrative support to sport-related development programs. When the Sports Development Foundation started back in 1995, there were only about 11 or so associations that has now mushroomed to 40, over 40, we have about 44 right now, and that now includes things like dominoes and darts, ice sports, skating and that sort of a thing. Funding is made possible through a cess imposed on the domestic gaming industry, which is paid to the culture, health, arts, sports and education Chase Fund. Jamaica, 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 Jamaica. As far as the eye can see throughout our beautiful land, the SDF has planted sporting facilities that have reshaped communities. Journeying through the parish of Kingston will yield a most striking find, Independence Park, a sports and cultural complex. It started with a um, joint venture to fund our video board some 10 years ago. And subsequently we have depended a lot on the SDF to provide capital funding. They have replaced both running tracks, the main track and the stadium East track. They have replaced the filters in the pool and they Filters were over 50 years. They resurfaced the netball courts and they replaced the seating. And we have a number of other projects we hope will come in, the basketball court, we hope that will go on as well. They also are going to do the electrics, the pumps at the, at the swimming pool. Did you know that the National Stadium Track is an International Association of Athletics Federation's IWAF certified level one top class facility? So this equates with any other track anywhere in the world. So. We, we are with the best. For us to maintain world-class athletes, you have to have world-class standards. And this is a, one of the few facilities in Jamaica that we can allow our athletes in all areas to have international competition. So they need these venues. Same thing with swimming, netball. If you don't have these facilities, people can't train. If they can't train, they can't get the world-class standards. Moving further afield, the SDF remains true to its vision of developing the nation through sport. Residents in Mahogany Hall, Trelawney, received technical support for a hard court. This is the hub of the area in Mahogany Hall. They play their volleyball, their netball. Everything is done there, and it has really served well. From the general community to the school environment, the SDF believes in honing the skills of our athletes from an early age. The organization has rehabilitated sporting facilities at Nakalva Technical High in Hanover and Edwin Allen High in Clarendon. I came here in 2009 and when I came here, I realized that there was no playing field. Yes, they had a, an area that the students would play, but it was a health risk. It was very hazardous in that 
they had a lot of tree trunks and all of that all over. Vines and it was a cow pasture. So there was no playing field here. We have received a playing field. We got it in 2012. The students and the teachers and my neighbors, they are very appreciative in that they never had sports day. They never entered any major sporting activities. So the students can train for champs and they also participate in the, um, the Da Costa Cup and the under 14 competition. So you will hear about us in champs. Formerly, we had two courts that were not in good condition and uh, they came to a rescue. The school has been doing tremendously well and I can look at basketball. Um, some years ago, we actually entered the finals nationally and the boys have asserted themselves because boys are the ones who tend to play um, basketball here and they have excelled and I think the facility has helped them significantly. The school has also been excelling in track and field. The school has been doing exceptionally well in the ISA Boys and Girls Championship. And I remember 2012, we took the title and we took it back in 2014 and 2015. It is evident that both schools are benefiting from these donations as the students continue to use the facilities for training and as a means to excel in various sporting competitions. The SDF has also collaborated with ministries like the Agriculture Ministry to build sporting facilities. Take for instance the Tollgate Sports Complex in Clarendon. There was a huge turnout from the community and um, I think that that auspicious beginning ought to harbor well. We went in through the Sports Development Foundation and we rehabilitated the field, um, plant grass, fence it, um, we rehabilitated the, the hard court and also the, the community centre that is there, the changing facility and so on. We also upgraded that. Um, so it's a brand new facility. And there's been lots more on the SDF's development agenda, from communities to schools to Jamaica House. The Sports Development Foundation has also been involved in the development of what is now the Business House, um, interbusiness, play, and competition. And so here at Jamaica House, we have been engaged as a group, as a team, and we also believe strongly. Um, in the advancement of the physical activity. So a multi-purpose court was also done here and we do have some lights and so we, we do, do use a court after work um, and a lot of other people are able to come and utilize it. Then there is the Hockey Federation which has under its umbrella the Mona Hockey Field which boasts an AstroTurf. This field is the only facility in Jamaica and one of the few in the Caribbean and there's more. The biggest project we're working on right now, everybody would know, is the GC Foster College track. We're reconstructing that track completely. That's a big one. They need a track because, of course, while we have been good from long before the college, the fact is they have taken it and carried it to another level. And so they must have a good facility. The new track is set to receive Level 2 IAAF certification when completed. Sports will always be integral to the Jamaican culture and the SDF is committed to preserving the country's sporting heritage. Every member of staff within the organization dedicates time and energy in ensuring that the work gets done and for this they were recognized. A long service award luncheon was held in their honor. To know that our employees give their all to carry out these functions, you know, it's very, very important and it's is quite appreciated by the board. The Sports Development Foundation, 
building sports in Jamaica through the establishment of well-needed infrastructure and preserving the resources to cultivate the skills of our athletes from the grassroots level and beyond. I can see them widening their horizon and targeting the, the kind of infrastructure development which is going to be required to see us move forward. Um, and with greater funding, I believe that they have the foundation with which to do so. For more information, call 960-3717 or 926-6733 or email info at sdf.org.jm.